Hello and welcome to this video on Microsoft Excel. During this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to a very powerful function that's part of the Excel Microsoft 365 subscription. Now, unfortunately, if you're not part of Microsoft 365's subscription service, you will not have access to this function. But if you've got it, it's a very powerful function and I'm gonna show it off right here. Now, let me build up a little bit of a scenario here and then we'll see how we can solve this scenario. This is a common question that I get inside of my Microsoft Excel course. Hey, I've got a list, something like what you're looking at right here. Just a simple little employee list. It might have 50 records, it might have hundreds or thousands of records, but now it became my job to pull out specific records from that list. For example, we've got a department column in there, column D. I wanna see this list, but I only wanna see it where it's specific to a specific department, such as HR or MK or MF or whatever department we're looking for. And oh, by the way, not only do I wanna see just those records, but I wanna take those records and put them on another worksheet. So here, We've got the master list, employee data, and then I've got a secondary worksheet there called by department. So my job is to take a specific department and display those records on this worksheet right here. Now this is the completed version of this workbook. I've already got the formula in there and I've given you access to download this completed version in the description of this video. Look for a link that takes you to the Office New Blog. You'll find two files. One, a completed version of the file, like what you're looking at here, and a working version that you can download and you can practice these concepts on your own as well. So feel free to download those. And while you're down there, if you're enjoying this video, you're learning something new, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you're enjoying it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get updates about new videos that I'm uploading. Now, back to the scenario. So here, I've got a portion of the list. And as you can see, I'm looking at just the MF department, MF. Here, I've given the users a nice little interactive dropdown utilizing some data validation where they can pick a department, such as AT. And as they do that, the list down below will filter, display just those records within that department. Now the original list, employee data, it's still intact. It's still doing what it does best. It's a great little list. But over here, utilizing the filter function and a little bit of data validation, we're able to find specific records based on that master list. So how do we do this? Well, let's take a look. So this is the completed version. I'm gonna bring over its counterparts. Here we go, this is the working version. Oh, try that again. This one does not have the formula currently. We're gonna build it right here. So I've still got the employee list. I've got the by department that's got a little bit of setup for us here. Headers, employee ID, last name, and so on. It's just the same headers that reside back on this list here. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Now I'm just gonna utilize the filter function to pull out specific records that we're looking for. So here I'm just gonna say, uh, inside of cell A5, that's where I want the list, the filtered list to begin. I'm gonna say equals filter, and I'm gonna open up a parentheses. Now the filter function takes three arguments, three little pieces of information that it needs in order to find the records that we're looking for. The first thing is the array. That's essentially your list. Filter function says, okay, you want me to filter for records, but where am I looking? Where's the list at? That's the array. So I'm gonna just, in my filter function, I'll go to employee data, and I'm gonna grab from A2 all the way down to H, what is that, H54, that's our list. And a little tip here, rather than clicking and dragging to select it, what I did is clicked into the beginning of the list, control shift down arrow, drop you to the bottom of the list, control shift right arrow will take you to the furthest right column that contains data. And we've got our list selected. You can see A2 to H54, that's our list. So that's the array. So now I'm gonna do a comma. The next thing it wants to know is, well, okay, we got the list. What is it that you want me to include or essentially filter within that list? So here, I'm just gonna say, I want you to look at cells D2 
to D54, essentially the department column. And I want to get back where that is equal. So I'll just bring in an equal sign there. Is equal to H, HR. And that's it. Go to this list, A2 to H54, and give me back where D2 to D54 is equal to HR. Now I'm going to close the parentheses. Done. I'm going to hit enter. And we've now got our results. Just the HR records. If I go back to the formula, back here instead of, in, what is that, A5, I'll change that from HR to, what was another one? I think AT was one of them. AT. I'll hit my enter key, and we're now filtering for just those records. How slick is that? One little filter function, nice, very powerful function inside of Excel, can filter the results of our main list. The main list, it's still intact. It's still doing, again, what it does best. It's an employee list. And now we've got a subset of data based on that list and a little filter. Very cool. Now let's take this a step further. Right now, my formula resides inside of cell A5 and it's filtering all those results. But it's based on a hard-coded value there. AT or HR or whatever department. I want to make this a little bit more dynamic for my users. Something where they can go up here to cell E2, pick a value, a valid department, then our list would update based on that value. Well, first off, I'm going to go back here to cell A5. And rather than AT, I'm just going to wipe that out, quotes and all. I'm just going to reference cell E2. It's currently empty. So if I hit my enter key right now, I get back an error. Calc. Uh, doesn't know what to do because it doesn't have any filter criteria yet. Well, if I put something in there like HR, hit my enter key, it then updates. If I change that from HR to AT, hit my enter key, it updates. So cool. Now we're referencing a cell here. It's not built directly into the formula anymore. We'll reference a cell, users change that value, and it updates the list. Now let's take it one step further. I wanna create a dropdown where the users can pick a valid department. They don't have to memorize them, they don't have to remember them all. Just get a nice little drop down, give them all the choices for them. They pick from that drop down and the list updates. Well, there's a few different ways that you can do this. I'm going to create this utilizing data validation and the unique function. Take a look. So, the first thing I need to do is I'm going to move off to the right somewhere, is I'm going to create a unique list of the departments. So I could just type that out by hand. HR, AT, MF, MR. I could I could try to remember those. I could go to employee data and I could copy paste, but I just want the unique ones. So rather than that, I'm gonna use the unique function. Now unique function, much like the filter function, is something new to the Microsoft 365 subscription pack. So if you're not a part of that subscription, unfortunately, you may not have access to this function. So it's a little bonus for you if you're thinking about upgrading to that Microsoft 365 environment. So here, First thing it wants to know is the array. That's it, and that's really all I'm gonna give it. It just wants to know, well, where am I looking for unique values? Where am I gonna return those unique values from? So the array, I'm gonna go to my employee data. I'm gonna grab D2 to D54. I'll close the parentheses, hit my enter key, and there's my list of unique departments. So now, I go to E2. I'm gonna go to data, data validation, I'm going to use a list validation type and my source L2 to, what is that? L9, just our nice little unique list there. I'll hit OK. And now, here's the beauty. Nice little drop down where we got all the departments there. And I can now filter that list. Just a couple little functions here. So cool. So cool. Now we could take this even a step further. This list right here, it's not in alphabetical order. We got AT, then AD, then AC, then SA, then HR. Mm. If I go back to the first one there, I'm gonna bring in, just before the unique function, I'm gonna bring in sort, another new function here. And that's all I'm gonna do is just put that unique list inside of there. I'll close the parentheses there at the end. I'm gonna hit my enter key. And now they're in alphabetical order. 
and my list here is in alphabetical order as well. Whoop. That's something small, but make it easy, make it as accessible as possible for us and for our end users. So utilizing a little bit of functions built into the Microsoft 365 Excel version, the filter function and the unique and sort functions, you can create a very dynamic, a very powerful tool for our users to filter master lists. So once again, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and get updates about videos that I post. So until then, I'll see you in the next video.